Looks like we might be starting out here with a coin. We like coins. Try and keep you guys in the view. I'll do my best. It's plus four Celsius today here. A balmy plus four. Oh, it was right on top. I didn't even need to dig. We will repair and show you a shiny quarter. One caribou. Ooh, we like this one. Double beep in, which is what I kind of look for. Somebody asked me why the targets are so shallow here. That's a very good question. I watch uh, a lot of channels from New York and stuff, and it always seems like they're going to the center of the earth for stuff. Um, it's just not like that. I don't know if it's the ground here or if all the uh, deeper stuff has been dug. Okay, we got some jewelry here. Yeah, but, um, I, and it's also a combination of that's what I concentrate on is these double beeping ones. I mean, I, I don't want to dig huge holes here. I don't care what somebody else does, but um, okay, look at that. Uh, but I, there was on. I'll try and find a couple deep ones today if I can. Boy, I don't know about that. I think that might be some silver the way it rang up. Look at that little gem. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I like the way it's got that pattern around there. That could easily be a pendant if uh, obviously you only have one earring. You can easily make that a pendant. We'll clean that up and see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, that's the story on uh, why the targets aren't deep. I think a lot of them have been dug. I can't remember the last time I pulled a deep silver coin. And I think th stuff does not um, drop as fast here as it does in other dirt. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. But anyway, it's the way it is. I like it when they're sitting pretty like that. 25 cents. What is that? kind of button or something electronic button or something okay that's fun beautiful high tone here 22 that's gonna be a tea light Fifteen, sixteen here this one actually looks like it's been dug wouldn't you say there it is I don't know what that is, some kind of connection. Is that a magnet? Nope. Okay, this was 16, 17. Looks like we got some jewelry. Is that an L? I don't know. That's bling though, I think. It's like copper. Kind of looks like gold on the back there, but yeah okay let's keep going hello 1819 getting my pouch Better not be a zinker. It's a coin. What is that? Could it be a mystery coin? Is that George on there? Can't be. Not at 17. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's uh, I think that's gonna be Euros starting to look like euros okay too bad my eyes don't work we'll check that out in the wrap-up though it'll be fun 9 10 11 come on ball of foil
GoPro trouble here. I finally found a deep target. It's four bars. It's pretty close to the tree. I don't know if we can get it. It might be roots, but we'll try. got for me penny that's the other thing about deep targets is they always seem to be pennies here yeah I think this might be my favorite tone 18 17 to 19 you can get anything in there you can get gold silver platinum zinc pennies bottle caps all really good things snap off of jeans I don't 26 come on show me something silver Just blind or oh hello hang on please don't be American nothing against the Americans I'd rather have silver I don't know kind of looks like a rosy Is it a rosy? Is it silver? Oh, well, it should be young Liz if it's silver. I think that's a rosy. Okay, we'll check that one out and wrap up too. Okay, this was a 17. Look at that. A little further away. Hello. Ah, it's gonna be bling. As soon as you see that pattern on the back there, you've pretty much been taken to bling town. 16. I'm gonna cut back on the live digs because the cold air uh, kills my GoPro for some reason. Oh, look at that. It's a blinger, but I'll take my glove off anyway. Let's have a look. It's our, uh... Oh. Maybe not a blinger. Could it be? Feels rough. I think it's a blinger. Boy, that's little. I can't even get that on my... Oh. Easy come, easy go. Okay. That's a ring, isn't it? That's a little bitty one. Well, that rang up really nice. That's a watch face. Huh. I wonder where the rest of it is. First loony of the day, one dollar. Not sure what we got here, but it looks like a little tiny coin. Huh. We'll check that out with the loop, but uh, sure looks like a little coin, doesn't it? It looks like a little penny. Huh. All right, little penny. Here's a surface screamer, 27, get in the pouch.
Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. No, nah, I think that that's not a ring. It's too big. I believe it's kind of out of a flashlight or something like that. Had me going, though. Oh, it's got a nut on the end. I thought that was one of those ear gauges. I think it's just a nut off something. It almost sounds like a coin spill here. Beside the irrigation box. Might be just one. Oh, there it is. Okay. That one's a nickel, I guess. That looks like an import coin, actually. Ring up like Canadian, though. Let's have a look. That is not Canadian. Boy, it's worn down to nothing, eh? Just sitting on the surface. So weird. Coin spill here. I already got two quarters out of it. Three quarters now. And four. I don't think this is going to be one because it's not on the surface, but let's find out what it is. Well, that's a coin. Ten cents. All right, there's a two dollar. About time we got one of those. This section I'm in here, it's, uh, it's kind of surprising because I've gridded it in three different directions. This is my fourth direction and uh, still hitting coins everywhere. So it's uh, surprising how much we miss, even as hard as we try. All right, ladies and gents, day two. It is freaking cold here. About minus seven. Hopefully the ground's not frozen. We're gonna try and get this hunt done uh, because we've got some really nasty weather coming, cold and snow. So let's see if we can do strong here, put in a couple hours. That's about all I can uh, stand probably today. Seventeen, eighteen, right there. Could it be my old buddy. Oh, wait, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, that's a piece of a bike, like a, a lock. Whatever. I don't know if that's jewelry or not, or just a little tag off of something. It says something on there. All right, that was a nine. Okay, this is the spot where the nine came out of. There was still a target there. The nine was still there. I don't know what that other thing was, but a uh, little flower. We like flowers. Ah. Hello, little gem. All right, that's just a little bling gem. A little pink stone. I can see that one. I like what I see. Is that is that a pendant? That ring up a 13, eh? Looks a bit shiny to be gold, but it sure is the right number. What the heck does that say? I don't know. It's a good find though. Sitting pretty. Okay, we got an eight. I think that's a coin over there. Interested in the small 910 though.
little frozen chunk of mud. Is it? It's an electrical connection. I don't know. Let's see, gets get the coin though. Okay, that's a dime. Oh, we got something here. What is it? Okay, feather, earring. All right, it's jewelry, I guess. Okay, we got part of a toonie here. Get out. Outside of a toonie. No polar bear on this one. If you have both, half, both halves though, they'll, uh, or both pieces, they'll give you uh, two dollars for that in Canada. Not sure what we got here. This is not a uh, Canadian penny. It's an import coin of some kind. We'll check that out. It rang up like, uh, uh, like Canadian money though. Cool. Fifteen here. I don't know any coin that rings up a 15 that size. That could be uh, another, or is that a dime? No, it's not a dime. That's gonna be another import, I think. We'll check those. It's pretty close to the other one. A little piece of bling there with some gems on it. All right, looks like we finally got a ring here. That is a blinger all day long. Copper. Still a ring though. I got about a half an hour left in this cold and then we're done. Looks like we got some more bling here. Old pearl earring or something. All right. There's a nice 20. Could be our silver ring for the day. That's a zipper pull. Air Canada zipper pull. Yeah, I'd say it's a good time to leave. Snow, wind, freezing, awesome. It's probably the last time I'll be able to have this park until spring. See you at the wrap up. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the wrap up. Um, just a quick couple things first. I apologize for missing last week. Uh, last Sunday's video. Um, I actually had this hunt done before then about five days before then But um, I was going down to the States for uh, for five days. So uh, I Knew I probably wasn't gonna have a chance to get one ready for this week So I just saved the video for this week. So I didn't um, miss this week. So I missed last week anyway, but uh, sorry about that my apologies and uh, I managed to um, Bring back a souvenir from uh, the States, which is COVID <laughs> as you can tell by my voice um, so I've had that for a few days now, so I don't know if I'm going to get a video out for this Sunday. Um, I might do a, a favorite finds video, um, so that I can film in the house. The last thing I feel like doing right now is, uh, jumping in a freezing cold lake, which is, uh, the only place to hunt here right now. So anyway, 
let's get on to the wrap up my apologies for that and my apologies for the jacked up filming on this one i was wearing a really puffy jacket which pushed my gopro even further out of uh out of sync but um uh, but I appreciate you guys' patience with it. So let's get on to the wrap-up here. It was pretty cool. This is um, this park is the same one I've been hunting for. I think I've done three or four videos in the last month out of here. Or six weeks. And uh, it owes us nothing, man. I don't know how many rings. I wish I had counted, put all the stuff from that park separate so that I could give you the totals. But I'd say we're at least at 15 to 20 rings out of there. I don't think we got a gold, but we did get a bunch of silvers, and uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, it's it's pretty much cleaned out, I will say that, um, you can tell by our clad, I mean, I've been taking 15 to 20 bucks worth of clad out of there every time pretty much, so it's starting to dry up, but it's been great, it's been a really good run, when you can find a spot like that, it's best to uh, hunt the heck out of it. So let's get on to the wrap up, we did not get skunked on precious metals today, which uh, was a nice surprise. So we got a little over five or six dollars in clad, no nothing major. Watch face, whatever that is, uh, some pennies. Uh, the import coins is where this really shines. Now this park is the is the center of tourist central in the city, so it makes sense that there's so many uh, foreign coins in there. So we got uh, fifteen cents in American. We got a fifty cent piece from Hong Kong, nineteen fifty one. That's pretty cool, and it has uh, King George the fifth on it interestingly enough um this one i'm not sure what it is it is hang on i wrote myself a note this is uh 10 krs whatever that is and that's harold the fifth on there so maybe somebody can tell me where that sucker's from does not have a country of origin and we got 300 peso coins from colombia they were all fairly close together but that's pretty uh pretty awesome i will say and on to the jewelry look at all this bling um that's that might even be a zipper pull i don't even know if that's jewelry but um yeah we got the leaf the l a couple of bling rings a little pendant or something a couple of earrings and this is the precious metals for the day for the hunt pretty little uh earring mark 925 you can easily take that earpiece off and turn that into a really nice pendant Yeah, so that is the hunt. Uh, as soon as I'm over this COVID, I'll be at it quick, and hopefully I'll have a uh, favorite finds video or a year-end wrap-up kind of video for you next Sunday. So thank you all so much for joining me. See you on the next one.